Okay, you guys, we are going to do my famous green sauce. But before we get started, we got to put our board down. And for safety, I wet my towel. And then I place my cutting board on top of the towel so that the towel does not move. And the cutting board stays in place. So as I'm cutting, I won't get cut. Now here we have our green peppers, avocado, lemon, green onions, and our cilantro. And here, as you can see, I forgot the lime, so I had to add the limes in. So this is me cutting up the green onions. I'm trying to avoid cutting my hands. So see, I try to keep my fingers out of the way as I'm cutting. And I don't know what it was, y'all. I was really thinking about some uh, fried rice as I was cutting those green onions. So I said, well, let me save some for my fried rice. <clears throat> that is too funny. All I was thinking about was fried rice. Who am I? Okay, now we got our cilantro. And we just need to cut this in little bunches because we're going to put it in the blender and it's going to blend it all up anyway. There we go. Cut that right on up. Look at that right there. And you know when you're cutting cilantro, it just smells so delicious. You could just taste the flavors. And unfortunately, this is my little blender. And I done wore the thing out. But it's so convenient and so small that it's right on time. Here's our jalapenos. We want to cut those. Oh, man, I'm covering it up with my hands. I could let y'all see, right? So this is me digging out the seeds. I want to keep some of the seeds, but not all of the seeds. Because I, I want it to be uh, a pepper taste, but I don't want it to overkill with heat. So we're just going to chop those up. There we go. And stick those in the blender. Okay. Now we're going to cut up our lemons and limes so we can get that juice out of there. Okay. we go cut them right on up now what's interesting is y'all know I'm ghetto so I turn my lime one this way and then I squeeze because I feel like limes have those little uh what's little um pulps and I like to bust the pulp open and then I turn the lime over fit it inside and then I squeeze again to get the rest of the juice I know just ghetto but hey I got to do something. Look at me having a hard time getting it out because of the way I do it. But it works for me. So that's why I do it that way. Yes, look at that juice. Look at all that juice coming up out of there. So I feel like I'm breaking the pulps. And then when I turn it around this way, I'm actually getting the juice. There we go. See all that juice falling out? Yeah, but like I said, I'm always having a hard time trying to retrieve the lime from the juicer. And these is little dollar store juicers, so it's not like it's the metal one where you could just squeeze the hell out of it. You know what I'm saying? These just them little dollar stores. But look at all that juice that's coming out. So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's serving its purpose. Okay, something was getting stuck in there. Okay, so now we're going to take our lime juice and we're going to pour it in the... Ooh, don't that just look good? Yes, Lord. Now we're going to take our little avocado. We're going to cut that avocado up. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody stop me while I'm ahead. And that's me taking a knife, getting a seed up out of there. I kind of puncture the 
the seed and then turn the knife to the to the right and get it up out of there. And of course, we know we got to get our good avocado up out of there. So that's me spooning it out. This avocado was actually beautifully ripe. So it just, it, it man. See me wasting no avocado, wasting none, not a not a bit. We're gonna chop that avocado down so it can go in the blender, and this is me trying to decide whether I wanted to use that part of the avocado for a sandwich, or if I wanted to use it to uh, make the sauce. So I had to kind of like make up my mind what it was that I wanted to do. Okay, that's me saving one for later. So I've decided to put it in the blender and I'll save the other one for the sandwich. All right. Now we got our avocado oil. We got to pour that in there. Mm -hmm. Get that good avocado oil in there. It's seeping down to the bottom. And after all of this, you guys, I didn't even realize. Sprinkle that salt in there. Maybe like, um, I ain't going to say no pinches. Um, I think that's more or less like a two teaspoons of salt. Because them some big pinches. And then this is us blending it on up. So with the oil and the lime juice, it just blends it right on up. And because this is such a small blender, um, it doesn't blend as fast as other blenders. So as you can see, I'm blending and blending, but nothing's moving. Blending and blending and nothing's moving, just the bottom. Just the bottom, baby. But don't worry, you guys, we're going to eventually get it. So work with me here, work with me. Okay. There we go. There we go. It's going now, you guys. It's going. I had to stir it up. So now we got our green sauce. Look at that. Just so beautiful. Just gorgeous. See how creamy it looks? When it looks creamy like this, it means it's so delicious. So delicious. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Now I want you guys to see it. Look at that green sauce. Beautiful. Well mixed up. 